Hey everyone, JP Hunt from Inksoft here. And in this video, I wanna showcase two brand new features that are now available in the Inksoft platform. Now the first feature is something that we're calling the order status page. Now I'm gonna share a little background and context before we jump into this new feature. So to begin, in the Inksoft checkout process, we've always prioritized simplicity. And the goal here is to ensure that customers can check out uh, with minimal friction, so you, of course, can maximize conversion. So with that said, we follow a best practice in e-commerce. And what we've done is we've removed the decision up front of having to choose to check out as a guest or to create an account. And what we do is we greet customers with that option once they've placed an order. So the option is still there. However, the friction is removed and it's just a choice at the very end of the process once you've trapped an order. So for those customers who choose to create an account because they want to access their account, of course, we, we've always offered what we call the end user login portal. And of course, that allows your customers to log in and here they can manage orders, see all their order history, and they can even click to view order details where they can print receipts and reorder. They can also manage their profile, address book, change their password. So with that said, customers who've chosen to create an account have always been able to self-service and access the, this order detail uh, area. Well, what we wanted to do was to equalize that experience and provide that to those customers that choose to check out as a guest. So that is the order status page. And that's what you're seeing on screen now. So now for those customers of yours who choose to check out as a guest, we're embedding a link to view the order status in some of the automated email communication uh, that of course triggers from uh, you know once a purchase happens. So embedded in order confirmation will be a direct link to view the order status where customers can see the status of the order. And again, they can interact and self-service by printing off the receipt, reordering if that's an option. I also wanna point out that this is gonna be a permanent link, meaning once a store is taken down, maybe it's the campaign is over, this will act as a digital receipt it's always gonna be accessible to customers despite the status of a store. So the real goal here is to mitigate customer service inquiries and calls and text messages. This is uh, intended to allow customers to self-service, which again, helps you to be more efficient. And speaking of efficiencies, I wanna showcase a handy little way to access that order status page. So you and your team, when working in the order manager, and if you're editing an order, You'll notice as I click the ellipse icon to access all the features and functions to edit and manage an order, you'll see an option that says view order status page. And upon selecting that feature, a new tab will open up with the order status page. So here you can grab that link and you can share it with a customer in the event that they want to interact and see their order details or status. So simple way to access the order status page to be able to interact and share that with a customer in the event maybe they've deleted an email or no longer have access to it. All right, so let's jump to the next feature. Now this next feature provides the ability for you to establish any of your Inksoft online stores as your main store. So to be clear, Inksoft online stores can be used in two ways. Number one, it can be used as your main business website. And it can also be used, of course, as client stores. So this new feature really allows you to designate which of your online stores is really your main business website. And that's gonna influence a lot of the interaction in Inksoft. So if you're creating invoices, quotes, sales presentations using Inksoft proposals, well, the contact information will be established based on the main store. So this allows you to make that definition of which store is main also point out that it's not uncommon to maybe create a new store for rebranding purposes. Maybe you wanna you know, um, sort of create a store in your spare time and you wanna maximize it and you know, take your time to do it right and then launch it when it's done. Again, this gives you the flexibility to change which store is main at any point in time. Now, if you navigate to store admin and of course uh, under name and directory, you'll see a little checkbox icon which says set as main store. In this case, I've already established this store as main. So you can see it's already selected. And then you save and publish, that will automatically make that store main. Now I will point out that if you happen to navigate to the stores admin area, um, so of course this is the area where you can see all of your stores, creation date, end date, how many products are active. If there's a fundraiser, you'll see the goal progress. So you'll, note, you'll notate here that we establish a little badge, a little icon that represents main store. 
So this is a visual cue which store is presently set to main, but I will point out you can quickly make an adjustment here. So at the very far right side, you'll see a series of ellipse icon for each store. Here you have a quick access to set as main store. So really convenient way to make that change on the fly. Well, thanks for tuning in to this video. Again, these two new features, the order status page and the ability to establish main stores and uh, edit which store is main are now live inside of the Ingsoft platform. Uh, continue to uh, be on the lookout for some future and coming soon announcements with some exciting new features coming to Ingsoft. And we, of course, uh, will continue to remind you to share your feedback and your ideas. It's that feedback and those ideas that help to add value to Ingsoft. And of course, we help, uh, you know, we're prioritizing those ideas to add maximum value to Ingsoft. So keep that feedback coming. We appreciate it.